Okay, today's lesson, the night before. Oh boy, this is a very important lesson. Now, I pretty much say that about every lesson, but this one is very important. The night before is one of the most important times that you can prepare and be ready for an event. So this one, night before, let's, start, let's get right into it. All right, every big event that I ever work, from Olympics, X Games, or what have you, there's big parties associated with, associated with it. So there's people having massive parties, they're catered parties, they go to all hours, and these are during big events. Now, if you're hired to do an event, that means to announce a competition, introduce bands, whatever it may be, as an announcer, you're being hired to do that job. So, why would you feel it necessary to stay out till two in the morning and then try to do that job the next day hurt? You don't wanna do that. Okay? That's not a way to start off any sort of event that you're doing, any sort of competition, because you're going to be hurt. So you always want to take time right, and be 100% ready. That means not going out to all hours. Now, look, I'm not saying you can't go to the party. Maybe you, it's a big party where you can make some connections. You can go to the party. Easy on the drinking for sure, but be prepared. That's the one thing. Be prepared. Going into the event, you know what the event is, you know what you're doing, study, get everything written out, know everything about the event, know everything about the competitors, know everyone, everything about the bands at the music stage, know everything you need to know about the sponsors and be prepared. Then, if you need it as a networking situation to go out, network some people, maybe work some more jobs down the line, then you can do that, okay? That's the proper way to do it. Coming into town, flying into town, coming in hot, going out that night before you go to work and staying out till two or three in the morning and then trying to do your job, come on. That's a rookie move. You can't be pulling stuff like that. There's no way you're gonna succeed at a long period of time doing that kind of stuff and not taking it seriously. That's what you gotta do. And by the way, nobody remembers you if you're at the party. I learned this one a long time ago. There's a massive party. You still got two more days of work left. You don't wanna go to the party because you wanna do a great job with the remaining two days left, so you don't go, okay? Everybody is having so much fun, they don't even know if you're there or not the next day. So it doesn't matter if you go or if you don't go. So if you really feel like you have to be there because it's a networking situation, you're meeting someone, otherwise, get your sleep, be ready to go, get up early, and knock it out of the ballpark. That's what you gotta do, okay? You can stay up if you want, it's just not recommended, okay? Because nobody remembers you at the party anyways. I mean, Look at it, the main purpose is you're hired to do a job. You're hired to be a professional announcer. That's what you're there for. You're not hired to come out and party, okay? They're not gonna pay you X amount of dollars per day to come out there and party till two in the morning and do a shoddy job at your job the next day. So the night before, so important on that. Don't even deal with it. Come in early, start it off right. If you're gonna start it off in a negative by going out till two or three in the morning and then starting your first work day the next day, how are you gonna feel after four days of that? Not very good. Always look at it this way. You're there to work. Work first, party second. Hey, on the last day of the event, when it's over, party it up, woo, have a good time, celebrate. You just did an amazing event, have fun. Wrap it up at a wrap-up party. You know what a wrap-up party is? When it's all wrapped up. That's when you're free to do your thing, okay? Don't let loose too early, it's not gonna help you in any way. Um, getting sleep, wow, so important on that one. They say the trick to traveling is traveling as tired as you can be. I don't necessarily agree or disagree with that because I don't really agree with that sometimes because if you can't get some sleep, like let's say you're super tired, you fly on an airplane to an event, then you try to get some sleep and maybe there's a loud hotel room next to you and you don't get any sleep. Now, not only were you tired going into the trip, you could be tired the first day before you even go to work. So, try to be prepared. One of the things I like to take is melatonin. Over the counter, nice, easy melatonin. Get some sleep that you need. Three to four hours, at least get yourself knocked out so you can feel good the next day. But taking PMs, Tylenol PMs, and things like that, I'm not the biggest fan of that stuff. Maybe it's for you, but I don't like the groggy feeling, so I like melatonin. I feel like that's the best way to adjust and get some sleep the night before because the key is start the event off fresh. That way when you get worn down from long hours and long days of announcing, you'll still be fresh because you started off fresh. You didn't start in the negative. And one of the one things I like to say is it's the last thing you do that people remember you by. 
So if you go out and you have three amazing days on the microphone and you do just an incredible three days and the fourth day you come in hungover, do a crappy job, didn't step up, crappy. What do people remember? Do they remember the three days of you just doing a great job? No, no, they don't. They remember the last day. It's always the last day. All right, story time. You always love the stories. This one goes to back in the, I'd say, uh, late 90s, somewhere right around then, doing some events, just really starting to get into it, and was doing a major event in a different state. I think it was we were in Georgia doing an event in Atlanta, and I was there with another announcer, and we were uh, had to announce the next day. It was a big day. It was the finals for the competition. It was just everything was happening the next day. So the night before, it's the last day of the event. What do we do? We go big. We start at the bar, having fun, having drinks, having adult beverages, having beers. And pretty soon, pretty soon you know it, it was like 2 or 3 in the morning, and we had to be up and announcing at 9 in the morning. Well, both of us showed up the next day, hurting beyond belief. My fellow uh, announcer was throwing up over the side. I was sick. It was just a big mess the whole day. Now, I pulled it off. And luckily my reputation kept me getting jobs, but I learned at that point, many years, this was early in my announcing career, that that's not a way to do it. So when I tell you this, speak from I speak from experience. The night before, you need to chill, you need to be mellow, you need to be ready to go. So get that sleep, be prepared, and that's how you deal with the night before a big day on the mic.